You have a table of data and you wish to remove certain rows from that table without sorting first. Now I will show you different methods and how you can remove or keep uh, specific rows of data setting your own criteria. You will see multiple methods and I will also teach you some very handy shortcuts. So make sure to stick till the end so you get all of this valuable information. Now, the first way you could potentially tackle this problem is simply by adding filters. You're probably already aware of this, but so you click within your data and then in the home tab in the ribbon, we can go here to sort and filter and then click on filter. Now these little boxes have appeared next to our headers of our table. Now I can simply click here on country and then I get all of the different possibilities that are present within my data. So my customers here either come from Australia, United Kingdom or United States. So if I'm looking to remove those customers from the United States, I simply deselect them and I click on OK. And you can see my list has been filtered down to only include those people that are from Australia and the United Kingdom. This could be a very useful approach. Now, one downside of this is that whenever you're applying a filter, you're next, not actually removing those rows, you're just hiding them. If you look on the left hand side, you can see here that the cell references of the row, it jumps, right? So it goes from eight till 10, from 10 till 13. That means in between those rows, there are still hidden rows and those contain the data of the people that come from the United States. So the advantage of this is that you can always get the data back. So if I now click on the filter icon and I click on clear filter from country, you can see I just get my data back. So it's a non-destructive operation. I can always go back. Now, in certain scenarios, you would actually prefer to permanently remove the rows that contain the data you don't want. So how would you tackle that? Well, this is how you do it. You click in the first row that contains the data on which you want to filter. In this case, I want to filter on country. So I select uh, the second row, right? Because that contains the first list of data. And then I use the shortcut control shift down. If you're on a MacBook, this will be command shift down. So I press control shift down. And as you can see, this selects my entire data for this one column, right? So I've selected all the way down. Now I press another shortcut control F. So control if, or if you're on a Mac, command if. And so this will open up the find and replace window. Now you can also open this up from the home tab in the ribbon by clicking here on find and select and then clicking on replace. That does exactly the same thing. Now what we are looking for here is to find something. Now in our case, we're looking to find people from the United States because we wish to remove those rows. So I type United States here. And then I can click here on find all. Now do notice that you also have some options to search for uh, cells that contain specific formatting as well. Now in our case, we don't really care about the formatting. We just want to look for the text United States. Then I click here on this button, find all. So I click on find all and you can see underneath here, it has found all the records that contain this value United States. Now what I wish to do is to select all of those records. And once again, we can use a very nifty shortcut for this is control A or command A. So press control A and you can see now in my list of countries, all those countries from the United States have been selected. Okay. So now I click on close here on my find and replace and you can see my selection remains. So I still have all of the United States values selected. Now I do a right mouse button click and I click on delete. Then we get a choice here. How do we wish to delete these cells? Well, we can shift the cells to the left, up the entire row or entire column. In our case, our data is in rows. So each time we need to remove the entire row so that the structure of our data remains the same. So I click here on entire row and I click on OK. Et voila, as you can see, my data has now been filtered. There's no longer any customers from the United States. And when we take a look on the left hand side, you can see that there are also no hidden rows. So we have actually permanently deleted this information. Now, in certain scenarios, you might have been interested to copy those rows of the United States customers and paste them somewhere else. So you don't lose the information, but the list is still neatly cleaned up. How can we do that? Well, in order to do that, we will have to make use of an advanced filter. Let me show you how. So first I press control Z to undo the deletion of the people from the United States. 
Then I will also be removing the filter that is currently active here. So I go to filter and then I click on filter once again to get rid of the filter. What I'm now going to do is to insert some rows above my data. So to do this, you select the number of rows you wish to insert. So in my case, I will be selecting four rows. Then I do a right mouse button click and I click on insert. As you can see, that gets me four new rows. Now I will be copying my header. So I click in the first cell of my header and I press control shift to the right or command shift right to select my entire header. Now I press control C to copy this and control V here on the first line to paste it. There we go. So what we now wish to do is to write here what kind of items we wish to keep. In our case, we wish to keep those people from the United States. So here under country, I write United States. Very good. So what I'm now going to do is I will be selecting my entire table of data here. So I click anywhere within my table and then I press control A. This will select my entire data table. Now we go in the ribbon to the data tab. Here we have the sort and filter group with the advanced option. So I click on advanced. And so here we have to say, how are we going to filter our data table? We could either filter it in place, but that's not something we want to do. We actually want to make a copy to another location. Now the list range, because before we clicked on the advanced filter, we already selected our data table. This is automatically correct, right? So our list range, meaning our data table goes from A5 to G104. If you wish to change that, you can click on this button over here. Next up, we have to select the criteria range. So where will we be defining the criteria of the rows that we wish to keep? Now we've defined that here in the first two rows. And how you have to think about this is that each line underneath these headers that we added is another group we wish to keep. So in this case, there's only one group we wish to keep and it's those people from the United States. So I click on criteria range and now I select my criteria range. I make sure to include the headers I copied and all of the rows that contain the filters. In my case, I only have one row with a filter. It's row number two here with United States. Make sure not to include any empty rows. Okay, I now close this down. And next you have to define where do you wish to copy this data to. So I click on this button here and I select the top left corner of where I want data to be pasted to. So in my case, that will be I5. I close this down and I click on OK. And as you can see, if we scroll a bit to the right here, my data has been copied. Now I select all of the columns containing the new data. I go into the Home tab and here I click on Format auto fit column width, right? That immediately gets me the right width. And if we now scroll to the right, you can see this contains the data of all those people from the United States, right? So what you first do is you make this copy, right? And then you delete the United States uh, from the original data set. And this way you have two data sets, one with the United States people and one without the United States people. So this is a very useful function to quickly filter down your data, remove those unnecessary rows, but still keep them if you wish to keep them. Thanks for subscribing and leaving an optional tip. Consider watching this video next.